Welcome to our lecture online. What we've done here in the denominator is switch the order of x and a. So here it's x squared minus a squared instead of a squared minus x squared. Does it make a difference? Well, let's find out. Again, we can see that this is the difference of squares, which means that this can now be written as the integral of dx over, and this becomes x minus a times x plus a in the denominator which means we can again use the method of partial fractions. We can say that 1 over x minus a times x plus a is equal to a over x minus a plus b over x plus a. And then, of course, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator, which means on the left side we end up with 1 equals a times x plus a plus b times x minus a. Multiplying this through, we get 1 is equal to ax plus a small a plus bx minus b times a. And realizing here we have two terms that have an x in them and two terms that don't, that are just constants. So we're going to set 1 equal to the two constants and 0 equal to the two terms with an x. So 1 becomes equal to AA minus BA. And on the second equation, we get 0 is equal to A, because we just need the constants, A plus B, which means in this case, A is equal to minus B. And then we can plug that in here. So we get 1 is equal to AA. And instead of a minus B, we're going to write a plus A, so it becomes plus a, a, so 1 equals 2 a, a, or a equals 1 over 2 small a, and then b, of course, since the negative of that would be a minus 1 over 2 a, and those two can then be substituted back in here and rewrite this equation as follows, or this integral as follows. This becomes equal to the first integral of a over x minus a, which is 1 over 2 a, so 1 over 2a divided by x minus a, and of course we need the dx still, and then plus the second integral of b, which is a minus 1 over 2a, divided by x plus a times a dx. <clears throat> okay, so now let's pull out a 1 over 2a. And actually, I'm going to pull out a negative 1 over 2a that makes this negative and this positive because I have an x minus a. In the, oh, no, I don't need that. So I don't need to pull out a minus 1. We can leave it as such. I was thinking ahead, but I had the wrong thought. So let's start over again. Pull out 1 over 2a times the integral of, the first integral is going to be dx over x minus a. And then we have minus the integral of dx over x plus a, and let's put some brackets around that. So we've pulled out a 1 over 2a, this becomes dx over x minus a, minus dx over x plus a, and now we can go ahead and integrate those two integrals, they're relatively easy. This is 1 over 2a times, here this becomes the natural log of x minus a, and that becomes minus the natural log of x plus a. And we have a constant of integration. And finally, of course, we can combine these two and write this as 1 over 2a times the natural log of x minus a over x plus a plus a constant of integration. You can see that the method is fairly similar to the one we had in the previous example. The order here is reversed, of course, the order of the x and a's are reversed as well, but that's the answer for this particular integral, and that's how it's done.